let me take you on a journey to a place where music can make a wonderful contribution. I spend most of my time working in hospital situations and using music in a therapeutic manner. And I want to show you how you can use the Reverie Harp. Um, because it's a new instrument, I've just introduced it into my practice and it's been absolutely wonderful. So let me show you where I've used it and I'll explain how you can use it too. Because of the blended tunings inherent in the Reverie Harp, it's possible for people who haven't played an instrument at all to play lovely sounds. And all you need to do is encourage them. The elderly lady who was playing this instrument for the first time said to me, if I was very sick, I would play these low notes over and over again. When we played the reverie harp for the little baby, it made me realise that music has a language and power of its own to reach across the generations and help make connections. Its sound can resonate and be comforting even through walls. Music can stimulate. Music can bring joy and a sense of achievement. Music can offer new connections and build relationships. It can be a source of fun in very difficult circumstances and create a happy diversion. Music can help restore health by giving a person something to relate to beyond sickness. This man, whose name is Terry, when I first met him, he'd been in CCU, the critical care unit, for six weeks. And they brought him out just to look at the sun and try and bring him back from um, the place that he'd been into. And he had been very, very sick. So when I met Terry, I played for him on my floor model harp and he went to sleep immediately. And when he woke up, I just thought he might like to try the reverie harp and have a look at his hands, how weak they are. I coaxed him into just trying and, and I, in fact I held his hand and guided his fingers across the strings to start with and then he began to play himself and as he began to play he, we started to connect and I began to join in with my harp, with my floor model harp. So he went from a place of being totally out of focus and um, uh, not comprehending to a place where we were uh, relating to each other through music and it was a wonderful um, assistance to help Terry in his healing and he's so grateful. Um, we had wonderful times together after this um, but just have a look very slowly at his hands, how weak they are, how out of focus his eyes are and the fact that the music was the thing that helped to bring him back into the world and it was the first thing he was able to do to relate to somebody. Now have a look at Terry's eyes. The satisfaction in the smile says it all. And this happened in 20 minutes of playing. He went from a place of not comprehending to a place of relating and um, enjoying himself. And I don't need to say much more than just have a look at those eyes. The eyes say it all. One of the pastoral care workers in our hospital said to me about the music. She, in fact, has now bought a reverie harp because she's seen what's happened with this instrument. She said that the music leads you into that secluded place where there's healing, where a person can be heard and where there are no interruptions. It leads you into silence. And that's the quiet place where the harp takes you. That's the place where the healing is.